Good Monday morning, everybody. Hello, fiery preacher. Walter, thank you. Wet paint, thank you. Tammy's awake now. Good to see you. Wings, Jody, health guy, daily word. <clears throat> Hello, Donald. Hendo, Miss Linda. Hello, Beta Troll. Lynn, something along those lines, if it uh, makes any sense. Um, we're we're going to talk all about that in just a few minutes. Hello, Marita. Hello, Zoni. Lady Mist. Chotia. Ranger. Hello, Janine. Dr. Thunder. Uh, Kimosak. Yep, Rancher Trump in D.C. Here we go. It's getting interesting, guys. It is getting interesting. Hello, Nate. Hello, Nick and Karen and Bill Coons. Where you been, Bill? Hello, Farmer. Hello, Noreen. Colleen. All my, all my Linda's, Lynn's, and Karen's. Hello, Judith. Hello, T-Bone. Hello, Jamie. Kitty Boy Rock. Pop and Emmy. Cowboy CN. Good morning. Ah, let's uh, let, let let's run while the running's good here. <clears throat> a powerful storm wiped out power in countries throughout Europe and Africa this past month. It is a scientific fact that solar storms this strong harm power lines, satellites, and other vital infrastructure our country depends on. Pay care close attention. It is believed our sun will generate another surge of space weather that will hit in the following days. Take steps to prepare you now before it's too late. The best gadget for surviving a deadly blackout like this is the light bug. You guys, you've seen me play with light bug. has a little um, built-in solar panel on the back as well. Uh, the light bug is an ultra-bright, portable floodlight built for preppers and survivalists. Inside is an unlimited free energy because solar panels are its main source of power. That means the light bug will work even in a blackout that extends over months. Thousands of satisfied customers have more peace of mind knowing a life-saving light bug is there to help them if needed. Try the light bug and get 15% off simply by going to lightbug.com or, uh, or clicking the link. It's in the description under the video. The custom code is MARK15 to get 15% off. It's time sensitive, so hurry. After entering your details, you'll receive your light bug to your doorstep in a few short days. Uh, Randall wants me to discuss the pre-established protocols for Queen's passing. I don't know all the protocols for the Queen's passing, so I may not be the best one on that one. Uh, they are supposed to shut down UK markets and banks. I believe it is on the 19th at this point is when they're planning that shutdown. I'm looking at it just one more pillar gone. I don't think uh, paying close attention to that is going to give you an uh, exact idea. I think we are just simply in the end days. But let's get to it. Some of y'all's comments are spot on this morning. <laughs> uh, Penn says, nobody has seen Donald in bracelets, but they did see him in his golf shoes landing in D.C. Matter of fact, I don't, I'll do a quick search, see if we can find it, guys. Better yet, let's do the RV stuff first. I think that's going to be more important for us. News time. Hat. Let's bounce back over here. Let's get rid of this one. Where do we start? All right, Nader gave us this one ahead of the release here. Audio is still off. Oh, audio is supposed to be off. Let's make certain the audio is off so we don't get ourselves in any trouble. Uh, he broke this one much earlier than anybody else. And this uh, specifically would be the arrest of the Director of National Security for Mason uh, governorate in Iraq. This is just part of that ongoing cleanup. But what's important here is that it's making to mainstream media. This is the one where he was getting threatened for um, letting uh, letting the cat out of the bag and talking about the arrests are going on. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. We know there's movement there. Another big piece going in uh, going on in Iraq after the herbal meeting. Al Sadir and Al Kazimi are out of the game, and Saleh is at the mercy of negotiations now. A lot of people are worried because Al Kazemi is pushing the hardest for the reset. These guys are taking themselves out of the conversation so that the government can be sat and they can have that. They are literally pulling a sedir here and doing everything the right way or they should. They're like, you know, we're the problem. We'll call the bluff. We'll step right down. Now go ahead and give us our new value and uh, get back to work on the government side 
what's going on. It's really interesting to watch this one play out right now as they uh, seem to be moving forward. Now, on the front with Europe and bonds, I am running into an NDA wall right now. I'm like hard running into a wall. This thing is like solid concrete. We're getting reports that bond money started paying out this morning in Europe and that um, they have started paying out some deals with Iraqi dinar as well. I do not have a positive confirmation yet. I am hearing it from multiple sources, but I want to hear it from one of my people that has money in pocket. So far, all I'm getting is NDA saying, hey, I can't tell you I am under an NDA. That is the most popular response we're getting right now. That we're having the conversation, I think, is important because I believe at this point, starting this morning, money really started moving in Europe. I'm getting a lot of reports. Hopefully, before the end of the day, we will have leaks or actionable leaks on that one so we know what to uh, expect here and what that means for our timing. Right now, we don't know that we are getting that many reports of that liquidity. I'm not, I'm not talking about, hey, I can see it. I'm talking about economic receipt, being able to do something with it. Uh, not yet. I can't find anybody on the currency side, but I'm getting more of that on the bond side. Uh, I will keep you guys posted. It is going to be minute to minute as we get through the next uh, couple of days, I believe, on what is really moving and what is not moving. It's exciting, though, that we're starting to get that much, uh, that many reports. Mr. C has not put in codes yet. That's why I tend to think it is bond money moving because they don't need him before the bond money starts moving. And we were just talking about that one, Moody Pet. I am hearing the same thing, that they have started doing some IQD deals in Europe. They could be pre-buys, guys. It could be not reset yet. It could be aggregators grabbing them up and saying, hey, you know, I'll go ahead and pay you 361 because they know it's going to be 402 or something like that. And that's most likely what we're seeing. And those deals, perfectly legal to go through. You can sell it whenever you want. Um, under those circumstances, it's getting fun, though, guys, because the chatter is unreal. Mickey just put in 20. Thank you. Said, I heard DJT was escorted off the golf course and taken directly to D.C. We're going to do that now. Let me catch up to you guys. I'm going to turn off this little banner in the bottom because it's distracting. And I'm going to see if I can find a better video. Actually, I've already got one pretty decent one right here. Let's uh, Let's run with it. Let's see, uh -huh. like that one, bounce it over to here. Nope, wrong one. I want to share these with you guys because we do. We have uh, Donald on the um, tarmac. Couldn't possibly... Yeah, okay, I don't have it in that format. I'm going to try to find it over here. I am, uh, it's fighting me. I'm going to look for it with DJT with golf shoes. Nope, 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 the golf shoes really threw it off. We're going to try DJT lands in DC. Still not going to find it that way. I'm going to have to find it for you a different way. All right, let me give you something else to look at while we look. It's on field. Let's see. <laughs> Mount Mom, I don't know how you would exchange those. <laughs> uh, guys, the double digits on Dinar, there are all kinds of rumors running. The latest one running around some of the redemption areas is 15, um, 15 uh, U.S. dollars for one. I, I don't know that. I, I don't think that's accurate, but yes, we are hearing it. Uh, Deb Hirsch, couldn't tell you a thing about that. That doesn't make much sense to me. Not heard it at all. This is the first thing I've heard on it. Ah, uh, let's see. Thank you, Chaz, to the rescue. All right. I know where to find it now. 99% of people with an IRA. Hold that one. All right. Trump's surprise return to Washington and Biden heads to the Pentagon. 
Now we know what to look for. Chaz with the rescue. Here we go, guys. Boom. Penguin six. We're going to turn that one off so you guys, so we can't uh, violate anything. And he's going to give us a little breakdown. We're not going to be able to hear him, so let's uh, let's get straight to the meat of this thing. As he's driving through, let's see if we can find the actual footage. Ah, here we go. Here we're getting into the footage. Late yesterday afternoon slash early evening, a sudden unexpected, they literally escorted him off a golf course, got him straight to D.C., something big. If they're going to that kind of effort to get to D.C., this is big. Let you guys watch it. This is his plane coming in, N7250T. <laughs> yep, on the tarmac, tarmac. I was looking at one of the hosts. No, no, no. Definitely not arrested, guys. He gets off walks, no problem. <laughs> no, no cuffs on anything. I think this is something bigger than that. Give it a minute. They unload everything before he gets off. See? No cuffs or anything. Hey, guys, how are you? Let's go. Then they drive off. That's about as exciting as it gets, and we have no idea what for yet. All right, Patricia, I'm going to drop the link for you guys. We're going to come right down here, hit the share button, copy, drop it into chat. And you guys tell me what you think. Listen to it in the background. Where's Secret Service? There was some Secret Service there, but not many. James, Dow's up 268. Makes no sense, does it? But we can see if we can like bring some heads or tails to it. Uh, I did want to touch on this one briefly, guys, because I want you to know that that war is still going on out there. Central Florida Human Trafficking Sting Operation. Sheriff's Office arrest Disney employee and school teachers on this thing is they are soliciting sex from 15-year-olds. <clears throat> These are, uh, yeah, some of your uh, your leaders and employees. Another uh, black eye for uh, Disney and for uh, teachers on that one. I wanted to include it because, uh, well, I think it's important. All right, how a railroad strike could send food prices soaring. I touched on this one on Saturday, guys. Uh, we are looking, and it's expected this week, in the next two to four days, uh, they're expected 115,000 freight rail workers to walk out on their jobs and shutting down, effectively shutting down all freight movement in the U.S. via rail. Huge story. We're going to have to watch it this week. Uh, weighing up options, Algeria is considering joining BRICS. This would be uh, one of the first European nations to go that direction or European area going that direction, very unhappy with what's going on at the EU. So they're looking to do what's best for them. Fantastic one on gold money piece and Asian Britain Woods. They're talking about the move to a asset-backed BRICS currency. They go into much more depth. I want to go down here to the very uh, end of it because I think it uh best paragraph I've read in a while is somewhere down here at the end. Let's see. What is truly amazing that the Western economic and political establishment have dismissed the importance of gold and ignored all the warning signals. They do not seem to realize the power they have given China and Russia to create financial chaos as a consequence of gold price suppression. If they do so, which seems to be only a matter of time, then London's fractional reserve system of unallocated gold accounts would simply collapse, leaving Shanghai as the only major major fiscal market, of course, what we're seeing play out in Russia with a um, Moscow-based 
precious metals exchange too. And it is only a matter of time before it ends their fractional fiat system. This is getting exciting to watch, guys. Scary, but exciting. Scary, but exciting. All right, let's keep running with it. Biden and Powell are at odds on inflation. Of course, Biden thinks, hey, keep loosening it up. It's all great. Woohoo! Even when it's not, Powell is like, uh, you know, we're pretty screwed and we're going to have to keep raising interest rates till we fix it. Neither one of them is right. Um, we don't have the key manufacturing ability. Uh, part of our inflation is because we don't have a proper infrastructure. Nobody, nobody is addressing any of the fundamental problems with it. Their pal is just doing the simple, normal Fed thing where they're just going to raise interest rates. They believe that is the only way. It's a very static Keynesian look at it. But it is interesting because you now have them at complete odds with each other over how to handle the uh, economy and what to do. Uh, so Biden and Powell being at odds is going to be an interesting one for us. This, this opinion piece came out of Wall Street Journal. A fantastic uh, <clears throat> reactionary substack. The FBI is hiding Epstein records. They are hiding that he was an FBI informant, that he worked for the FBI. We don't even have to like question it. We can see in their own documentation <clears throat> that he was working with the FBI. And that's probably why we have not seen his list of uh, who were the customers coming down there. I mean, we know it exists. We know they have it. Why don't we have it? So a great substack just on that one. Um, another huge black eye for the FBI. Exclusive FDA refuses to provide key <clears throat> lollipop safety analysis. I'll let you read it. You know how much trouble I get in when I read those. The economic collapse this winter. Europe plunges into the new dark ages. Uh, we're already starting to see it, guys. We're starting to see. There's actually a good article in here that talks about um, something similar. But we are. We're looking at a populist uprising that has already started, guys. And it's only going to get worse. They're going to have a tough time suppressing people in the streets. Heck, for that matter, we can bounce, uh, get ready for blackouts from London to L.A. as the global energy crisis overwhelms grids, since energy prices skyrocketing. Of course, uh, I included this one. It's a total fluff piece for climate change, but it does touch on how weak our grid system is to handle these because of our move to green energy without paying attention to the transition and what's realistic. Uh, so I thought I would include that one. Uh, U.S. Army recommends food stamps for soldiers struggling with inflation. How many billions? Tens of billions. Trillions we already sent to um, the Ukraine. But we can't feed our own soldiers. So now the Army is just saying, hey, you know, we're not going to give you a pay increase. We need you guys to just go sign up for food stamps. The soldiers that defend our freedoms that are here. The wolves. Uh, keeping the wolves at bay at night. Go take your food stamps. We can't afford to pay you anymore. We can afford to pay for gender studies in Pakistan. We can afford to send all kinds of missiles and tanks and whatever to uh, other nations, but we can't take care of our own. This is pretty twisted in my book, that the Army would even, that, that's their first go-to. Hey, you know, inflation stuff. We're not going to do anything about it. Uh, go get food stamps. What a spit in the eye. GOP leader says homes of Trump supporters may soon be raided by FBI. Guys, these are going to be strategists. These are going to be folks that work within. We've already seen, I think we're up to 50 of, of uh, close contacts with them have already been raided with very broad search warrants. It is a political junta, and if you're not afraid, you should be. Well, you and I don't need to worry about it, guys. We're not that big a fish. We're not like a, a Robert Stone or somebody that gave, you know, a few hundred thousand to his uh, campaign or any of those things. But watch it because it is pretty scary. Now, what I did right there, um, great one by Bannon. They were trying to deplatform me and shut me down. It's not going to happen. He said, adding, they've got a populist revolt that's out of control and they're trying to take me out of this election. That is the key, a populist result that is out of control. They have lost their handle on it. They are desperately, they are sinking rats on a ship. They will eat each other to get off this thing, whatever it takes, because it is. You guys are that populist revolt, and I don't mean in a violent way. I mean, you're sharing the information. You refuse to accept just the BS they shove down your throats. 
You are that populist result revolt. And he's right. He nailed that one, in my opinion. Tens of millions in China under new <laughs> lockdown ahead of CCP meeting. Yeah, we're up to, what, 34 cities now, I believe it is. 34 cities and 21, 21 million residents. So they can have nationwide testing. And you're, when you're seeing uprisings in China, you know it's bad. I did include this one because I think we need to know what's going on. Border life for border. Ranchers assaulted, dogs beaten, fences destroyed, dead bodies. One rancher who works it with his family was talking about, you know, you never know when you're just going to have another body, which makes it tough when you have young children on your ranch and you're going from one location to the next. And there are that to be seen. It is uh, mentally scarring. Hello, Kings Hacienda. It's good to see you. Now, I do, let's see, we may not be big fish, but they're not above, no, they are absolutely not above making examples out of folks like, like us, absolutely. We need to pay attention to it, but I don't think we're in any danger at this point. Me, maybe more so than you guys because of my voice. Uh, now, I do, guys, um, uh, a nana mouse, a nutty mouse is asking for prayers, said, hey, Mark, my MS, muscular sclerosis, has progressed to the point that I can no longer walk. Please have the group pray for me that I might overcome this like I have in the past. Thank you. Uh, it is always scary. Um, MS, MD, mine, uh, you'll go through those ups and the downs, and it'll get really bad. And it comes in waves, and then sometimes you bounce back and you catch more. Um, you get more functionality back. Not all of it from before the um, flare up. But it is uh, pretty scary for Mark right now. Not this Mark, the other one. Naughty Mouse. Becoming a prisoner in your own body. So guys, prayers for healing that um, that we get that bounce back uh, so he still has some more time to walk. Med beds, please. Amen. Regina, I feel better today, especially after my Steelers squeaked out a win. I'm uh, reading comments. Let's see. The U.S. military is a for-profit corporation that hires mercenaries and pay them more and take care of them. should cut into corporate profit. It should cut into their corporate profits. Pump, dump. Uh, Marky Mark. I think Bitcoin, a bit of a pump. Mostly if you're following crypto and the move to Ethereum 2.0, which is moving faster than expected. Um, a lot of projects are already starting to put their eyes on the um, migration to the Ethereum blockchain off the BNB. I think you will see a little bit of a boost in Bitcoin, just like we've watched that run. Ethereum is going to be the one to watch. Its functionality for the next few years is going to be uh, light years ahead of where it was. Light years ahead of where it was. Bitcoin, my guess is it's going to flirt somewhere in that 20, 22 to 25 range. Let's see. Original Marzi yesterday while watching the name reading ceremony at Ground Zero, one of the readers mentioned the 9-11 Museum at Ground Zero had been permanently closed due to financial shortfalls. Nobody has stepped up to assist them in any way. I had not heard that. I've not heard that either. It was closed in August. What a national disgrace. When writer think about this. We can afford to spend, what was it, $330 million or so for gender studies in Pakistan, but we couldn't afford to keep our 9-11 museum open, honoring those first responders and the victims. That is pretty twisted, and that is all you need to know on what we consider more important, or our legislators consider more important. Heinz, thank you. You guys keep a... Uh, do a good job keeping me properly in, in college gear. <laughs> I would love to see that one. Deborah, I think that's what we're all trying to figure out. Why was Trump in D.C.? And has he left D.C.? Is he somewhere else now?
I'm just reading some of your stuff here. Hello, Michelle's birthday. I should start getting a list of birthdays, even though it's only 1025. I'm just desperately wanting to get back to seeing if I can find anybody on the bond side or on the currency side in Europe with physical money in their pockets. Gender studies don't cost. <laughs> it, 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 exactly. It's pocket money. It's walking around money. We'll throw, you know, tens of millions of dollars at it. And nothing happens, but it does give some uh, uh, professors a real good feel to have that extra money come in. All right, on with you. It's time for the facade to end. It's time for us to just get across the finish line and get on to fixing the world. Especially when you have a whole group of people that want to fix things. LSU kicked butt this Saturday and Saints squeaked one out. Great to be from Louisiana. Uh, Dewey, I've not heard of anybody getting uh, funds yet on the Zim side, if that's what we're referring to. And I'm still hearing, I'm, st I'm, I'm hearing nothing's changed. I don't hear a sliding scale. I don't hear only percentage. I don't hear any of those things. Brenda, that's a great question. Uh, Melinda, I did not. There was a video out yesterday on a new ATM machine in Virginia that was a cabal one. He said they want your <clears throat> lollipop number on kinds of stuff. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I get a kick out of that. Is this person a scammer? Is that one a scammer? Guys, they're bringing you the best they know. Even if they're wrong sometimes, I don't think you've got any out there that are uh, actively just trying to take your dollars. I think they're trying to give you the most they know. Nancy's birthday to date as well. Uh, let's see. There will be different things happening in different realities. Might sound crazy, but it's true. <laughs> S-Coop, you know, if uh, we believe in the uh, multiple uh, realities type thing or parallel, any that uh, physics, physics tells us that you are most likely correct, S-Coop. So, eh, I'll take it. Jersey Girl, there was, oh, I do want to touch on that, guys. There has been so much BS shared around the boards where they're taking things completely out of context, where they're taking part of one sentence somebody said, adding it to a part of another sentence. There were really, really some jacked up stuff um, on the boards this week. I had a lot of folks checking in. Uh, Intel type people saying, man, I didn't say this. I heard I said this. Have you heard I said this? Um, so, Yeah. I would be very careful this week reading the boards. Well, I'll be very careful, period, reading the boards to, um, as to whether or not they're accurate or not. Uh, Harold wants to know well, silver is at 1904. Last time I saw it, 1904. Going to check it. Wow, holy sh... 20.03. Silver has made one heck of a run. Uh, gold's up 12%, silver's up, market's up, uh, puts. This is important, guys, and I'll put this one in. Make certain I can pull this one up. This is very important graphic for you guys. So can I make that one a little bigger? Here we go. Uh, these are puts and calls. They are banking. They're Basically, they're hedging their bets right now. On uh, Wall Street, last week's panic hedging, three times more extreme than it was in 2008 before that crash, which means these folks are protecting their backsides right now at a level that has not been seen ever. 
meaning even more severe than in 2008 when things started falling apart. This is a clear indicator for those of you guys that uh, follow charts, um, that follow the charts, the swings, the cycles. This is a huge telltale uh, that we are right on the verge of that uh, massive correction hitting, uh, hitting Wall Street because they are. They're not up here. They're banking on uh, fun stuff. Down here, they're banking on bad stuff. So it looks like they are banking on the bear. They are banking on the bear right now. This is a huge, huge change that we just saw. And it tells you what to expect. Uh, yeah, Bulldog, that is the latest. Our newspaper had an article yesterday saying they're looking at all giving us polio lollipops. They supposedly have found it in, in the wastewater. They supposedly, because they go out there and they test, you know, your, your runoff. And supposedly a number of cities in the U.S. are having large amounts of it. Show. Even though we don't have an outbreak, we don't have people sick with it, we don't have any of that, they're saying that they are seeing it in the uh, waste water. This, to me, is absolutely crazy. Hoops, in 2008, they knew a bailout was coming their way. Hoops, for you, that is a massive difference, I believe, and I think you have nailed that one right on the head. Um, there's no bailout coming for them on this one. Uh, they can't afford to bail them out. Lisa, still no idea of what to expect on the boulevard. Patriot Lady's birthday was the 10th. I hope it was wonderful. Um, Gene, no idea what you're referring to by has what been moved to the 19th. I don't think I've ever heard Snafu Radio. Yes, look on YouTube for information on Denver passing out free bug out bags last weekend. Wow. Here we go again. I'm going to have to dive into that one. Sentinel, thank you for the laugh this morning. Mark, the reassignment clinic had a big sign out front that said, trade in your dong here. <laughs> Don't be fooled by those redemption centers. Where you can go and exchange your dong for an empty wallet. Oh, that's just bad. That is just bad. Let's see. Get Richard I trying. Do you need 100 T's on Zimbon? No, it can be no, it can be it can be 10 10 T's. It can be one 10 T. Uh, but I am hearing you have to have Zim to be in that for humanitarian rates. And remember, the rate doesn't put anything else in your pocket. It gives you money to do a humanitarian project with, not for you to spend. What you get personally doesn't change whether you have a project or not, is what I have been told. And yeah, you can do several different projects. Hopefully that was clear. Our bug out bags full of ready insect mills. You know, real fast ones like, um, I don't know, Roach lasagna or something. Or roly-poly spaghetti. Oh, yeah. Bill's Mafia. That, I, you know, it, I guess because I've been in this one for so long. Uh, Christine said, yep, those bug out bags were a joke. And some people honestly don't have, um, they don't know what that is. A bug out bag is basically a backpack, a bag, a suitcase, whatever. And if you need to survive on the road or in the woods or wherever, it can even be a bug out bag for in the city where you can go and lay low. A couple of days worth of food, bandages, water, that type thing, just your necessities. If you're more uh, outdoorsy type, it might have you know a foldable saw, maybe a little uh, two-man pup tent or something, maybe some thermal blankets. Wendy Lou's birthday was yesterday. Wendy Lou who? Happy birthday yesterday. 
Sochi, I'll have to try this snafu radio of what you speak. Philip, Flashbang isn't sending any money as the debt clock isn't moving. I've noticed that, Philip. It's not making any sense right now. Let's see, Baby Watch 2022, 13 days of contractions, first week, one week until scheduled delivery. Which comes first, baby or RV? A to Z, dreams, praying they come at the same time. That would be one heck of a celebration. Uh, I am hearing Pingos in basket one. I've not heard a rate to expect, though. Gerald, what's your right? Oh, you want me to say uh, Kangan? Oh, it's definitely up there if you got poisoned water. But it wasn't in the fresh water. It was in the waste water they found it. You eat the crickets and smoke the roaches. That makes sense, Bernard. <laughs> All right. I'll have to reach out to Snafu through, um, through uh, Andy. Andy and I did go back and forth a good bit this weekend because we were seeing some massive moves over the weekend. And I, I can't believe I forgot to mention those to you guys. Me, somebody had mentioned that uh, Miles Franklin does stuff with them. We saw massive orders for physical metals. And we also saw a run up, especially out of Asian countries. And that's part of why you saw that big boost in... Um, in uh, Bitcoin over the weekend, guys. I mean, it gained, what, 3,000 or so? Uh, a, a really solid move. Money is trying to run away in Asia. They're trying to find some place that is secure because things seem to be collapsing. We had two banks on Friday declare bankruptcy in China. And I think at this point, we we're watching a lot of the big money around the world try to figure out where it can go that it's international. Sorry about that, guys. That is a uh, work one coming in that I am not taking. Whoop. Um, yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. Let me uh, make certain that they know that I am not going to be there. Uh, give me just a second, guys. All right, that's taken care of. Happy birthday, Joy, too. Marky Mark, I absolutely believe RV this year. Whiskey and Wisdom plaque, it's still glaring at you. Yeah, it's because of the window. The time of year changes, so the sun comes in at a different angle. I'm doing it on, pur wait, on purpose, though, right? So you can see the reflection of the golden suit when it's time. Deborah, Gerald was telling me this about this. Uh, many scholars believe that Jesus' actual birthday is September 11th. Um, and I didn't know that until you guys started sharing all kinds of information with me. Imani wants to say for the person struggling with MS, please consider heavy metal detox and get rid of any metal fillings in your mouth properly. Uh, Monty, that is uh, that's a good suggestion. One thing with people with MS, MD, or degenerative diseases, they tend to have a very high toxic heavy metal level in them. Whether that is the cause or whether that's a symptom, we don't know. But it is. There's a very strong correlation on that one. Bejeweled, the Nobel isn't going to be in effect until January 1st, 2023, which is what? Four months away. Scary for Chicago. <laughs> Savage said, I heard that was the date for the Immaculate Conception, not the birth. Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinder Cinderella's birthday too. Marita, you're welcome. To me, I'm just stunned by the number of just awesome people in our group. Doreen's birthday is going to be the 18th. I hope you'll have one. Uh, nobody knows the exact timing, but I am certainly hearing a tremendous amount of chatter that you're going to be happy by then. 
My darling daughter's 12th wedding anniversary was West yesterday. Why should she choose? Yeah, I don't know why people do that, but a lot of people do. Sailplane. Oh, my. That is some good stuff, Sailplane. The blackened bourbon is quite tasty. You definitely have to give it a minute, though, to um, set on the ice to release the uh, flavors. Susan, no, actually, I'm told you guys will have a lot of good stuff coming. Um, that Kathy put up an interesting one. I'll have to touch on that one. When everything goes down, what about senior citizens? I'm being told you guys get a serious boost to your income, you only Social Security folks. I'm not worried about you guys at all. I'm worried about you surviving until then, though. Uh, Kazemi Sater, most of all politicians, that's why I thought it was important that they are stepping out of the way. They're literally, as politicians, taking themselves out of the way so they can move forward. This, is a, this to me, is a great sign that things are finally moving forward in Iraq, that these politicians are finally getting out of the way of the people and the right thing. Mm. Somebody said they talked about debt forgiveness on Fox News. A lot of uh, companies already going that way preemptively because it's uncollectible. Um, so getting it off the books, there's been a lot of chatter about debt forgiveness and debt jubilee going on with major networks, guys. And I think that's their way of telling us doing their announcements without doing their announcements. So they can say, hey, but, but we told you it was coming. Richard said, my sister got married in 9-11 because they're both first responders. That makes sense. Waptees is the one that put that one in there. Uh, yeah, a lot of chatter from all over the world, but especially Europe and the U.S. on debt forgiveness right now. And on mainstream news. Chris, there are a lot of new people. There are a lot of new people. Chris just saying, um, yeah, so many newbie questions. It's like, uh, were they just not paying attention or are they just new to it? A lot of folks that are new to this. But fortunately for you guys, I got a um, got a special delivery this week. So I have reloaded. So now I'm going to have more patience. I just got a new jar of um, to give. So I now have some, I was out guys. I mean, I literally last week I was down to my last one and I was like, you know, I better get a whole jar of them. So now I'm prepared to start answering these questions again. And I know a lot of new people. It's not your fault. You're new. You're just finding out. And I think it's fantastic that you're finding out. And I need to have the patience to be able to properly answer it. Turd, let's see. We did get an update, but I don't know. I don't know how close they have gotten to finishing paying for everything. Um, so let's let's take a look at that one. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's get past that and find the chat. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Uh, uh, a morning from uh, over the Seeds of Wisdom crew. Thank you for helping everyone. And Oki is very thankful to everyone for prayers and support. For prayers and support. Oki just, uh, they wanted to let, let us know that Oki was very thankful for the prayers and support, especially over the past week or so. But I will try to get you guys an update as to how close they are. Um financially they may have already uh covered it i don't know that answer yet but i will let you all know terry rv for my birthday let's get on it make it happen whoa and then it went too quickly and then it went so quickly i could not do it Sir Percy, it's close, and we're hearing that there's been a lot of money movement going on in Europe, but we are trying to get confirmation. We're hearing both bonds and some IQD deals occurring there for actual spendable cash, but I'm running into an NDA wall, Sir Percy. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get that one figured out. Mark, the no bail, I believe, is for all of Illinois. Not, yes, you are correct. It is for all of Illinois. 
Criminals have to wear ankle bracelet, but if they flee, the police can't pursue them for 48 hours, and homeowners can't call the cops to remove the homeless from their property. Oh, that's fun. Um, let's see. Please go support Life Mark based on true story. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Daughter Leah's birthday was yesterday. Diana's daughter. Deplorable, yeah, that's going to happen. But hopefully it will also mean that a lot of the um, nursing homes will be able to afford better care. I'm just looking forward to med beds and stuff when those folks can all take care of themselves again and have that freedom. It just sucks. I, I'm not trying to get more life. I'm trying to, wait, how do you put that one? I'm not trying to get longer years. I want more life in those years. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, Charlotte said, please prayers for a young high school boy named Cooper from Troop, Texas, who suffered severe head injury in Friday night's game, a small community next to me. The next five days are critical. Uh, Peter, Italy released their unlolly pop figures for the last 12 months. It was 6 million. It comes out now that it, oh, wow, that it was 15.2. Yeah, no, the, the plan is failing and they're doing their best not to let us know. They don't want they don't want the news out there that everybody is saying screw you on getting any updates. Uh, you know, I don't want to use the B word on that one, but you know, guys, you know what I'm referring to. It's uh it's something. All right. Betty believes Nasir Jasir is waiting on more people to awaken, less violence when it happens. I know that that is has always been one of the one of the things they say is necessary. A lot of disclosure so that people embrace the change instead of fight the change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm loving some of you guys' comments. Can I just hang out and chat with you guys? Robert, I totally understand what you mean by that. I do. Um, maybe I should put it this way. The soldiers don't look at themselves as mercenaries, but I think our government does. I think our politicians put our military in some really, really crappy positions. And treat them just like that. They, To them, most soldiers are just, to the politicians, not to the leadership. Most of the military does not think that way at all. They believe that they're doing the right thing. They're serving the Constitution and keeping us free. Um, but I think our politicians use us as just fodder. That's what drives me nuts. I love our military and hate what our leaders do to our military. Okay, Chris, I don't know if I'd call myself a Brady fan. I appreciate how good he is. Um, he always looks like he needs a smile knocked off his face. But that's probably just me being jealous because he wasn't our quarterback. Daryl, I like what you said. It's important that we remember that the RV is meant to change our world, not for us to become rich, entitled, or powerful. Jay Gutta, good idea. We'll start using the word rocket instead of that one with the B. All right, you birthday people, I'm going to go ahead and sing. Because we got a bunch of you. We got Joy, Michelle, Nancy, Wendy, Lou, Cinderella. We got quite a number of birthdays today. So I want to make certain I sing before the voice gets tender. Although it's holding up better than I thought it would. Hopefully it's going to be a good solid week for me. So they tell me it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, darling. May you live, may you love. Make all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday. I kind of like this idea here, Kay. Creating happy memories on 9-11 to ease the sad ones. And there are plenty of sad ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've actually had some luck waking some people up there, Carla. Please answer. Ronnie, I'm told only certain Zim notes are good. I'm told the ones you're looking for are 2008 and 2009, Ronnie. Um, the other ones I'm told will revalue like their currency, but not their bonds, but not nearly as spectacularly. Uh, she Patriot son, Chris, happy birthday, Chris. And Bonnie says I need a West Virginia Marshall shirt. You know, I don't know where, was Larry in this morning? I don't know if Larry was in this morning or not, guys. Could have been sleeping in. Could have worked too long yesterday. Could have enjoyed the games too well. Arnold, love my Steelers. That's, that's my blue-collar team. I know it might seem silly to some of you guys, but... TikTok said, I escorted Kuwaiti tankers through the Persian Gulf during the Iraq-Iran War. We protected them from Iranian forces. Kuwait provided food and fuel to us. Amen to that, Mark. I'm with you on loving your military heroes and praying for our so-called leaders. Amen, you have to, because leaders are, they don't do the right thing by the military men and women, in my opinion. Rarely do they do the right thing. Let's see. My grandson, MC, pronounced Mac, is 15 today. Happy birthday, Mac. That's kind of what my Uncle Glenn used to call me. Hey, Mac. He was from Boston. He was saying Mark, but you know how those Bostonians are. Hey, Mac. Oh, God. Dude, you got a great point there, Will Bart. Mercenaries make more, more money than our armed forces. Hello, Mary. Thank you. Booger, they're on your butt. Tell them to get off your nose. Child of light, love that accent. <laughs> A Bonnie's sister, Jean. Happy birthday, Jean. So we've added Jean and Mac. And I'm not going to be able to say Mac's name without thinking of my uncle. Mac. Hey, Mac. Bonnie, it does not have to be a single 100 tri trillion node. It can be 101 trillion nodes. It can be 10 10 T nodes. It can be a 50 T node and, and a 20 T node. And it doesn't even have to add up to 100. It's just we always figure the rates based on the 100 T because it makes the math easier. Miss Kimberly, I feel so incredibly blessed to be poised to give back like never before. Thank you for helping us usher in this new era. Miss Kimberly, I'm excited for all of us and you. Um, Terry Sart, I have no idea what to tell you on the aggro, whether it's going to be used for projects or not. I don't think it's going to be used for projects. I think it's just a redeem, but I don't know for certain. I haven't been able to get a solid answer on it. Just told that it would be a good idea for me to have some, so I got some. Billy, my uncle used to call me cow. Isn't it kind of neat? Um, Yeah. I was lucky. I had two pretty good uncles. Well, I had three, but one died when I was three. The other one I was in my 30s, and then the last one died just a couple of years ago. They are missed. All right, Cool Raul, it's good to see you. What did Cool Raul say? Have a good day, everyone. I'm busy at work just listening along. Cool Raul, we're glad to have you, brother. 
Um, Carla says, update on seeds. How's Kukla doing? I heard she got three huge boxes with 3,600 packets. Yeah, she has uh, been doing labels. She has been going around the clock, getting things knocked out to get them out this week. We'll get an update out of her this evening, I'm certain. Uh, Salt and Mud. Mark, 3 a.m. I received a phone call saying, here's your verification number. Wrote down number. Hung up. Did I, I haven't heard of anybody getting something like that. Dave, I bought my Zimbabwe Agro. Agro, like agriculture. Or is it Agro? Anyways, agricultural notes. I bought mine off of eBay. I don't think I can do a very good Marilyn Monroe birthday song. Okay, guys, if there's any breaking news, I will be uh, back. If not, I will be on at 7. If I can get some solid verification, I will tweet in truth of people in Europe with money. If not, we'll be here this evening, and we will talk about the latest and what we are hearing. Bye, guys.